Hello and welcome to Live and Local. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking all about IGTV and how Instagram is kind of changing up the way we are doing video and the way people are consuming video. So let's dive on into this episode. Hello everyone, again, welcome to Live and Local. My name is Nick Polkowski and I am joined today by... I'm Haley Hughes. Thanks and for having me, Nick. Yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, and I'm very excited because we're gonna be talking all about something brand new. Literally, I think it dropped like last week on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, uh, it's all gonna be talking about Instagram TV. And this yeah. is a really neat little format and I'm excited to dive into this. Yeah, yep. So for those of you watching, if you're like, what is IGTV? I have no idea what's happening. Um, open up your Instagram app and make sure you do the most recent update in the iTunes store or your Google Play store, whatever format phone you have. Um, so go ahead and do that update so you can kind of follow along with what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, and that's the big thing. Uh, once you do that update, you'll see it there. But really, let's kind of run through what Instagram TV actually is. And so basically what Instagram TV is, is it's a new way that they are doing video. Mm -hmm. uh, they're kind of taking what we know as stories. Yeah. Um, stories have always been super limited in the amount of videos they have. I want to say stories was like 30 seconds. Do you remember mm -hmm. how long they were? We've seen Instagram release video um, footage. You can do 30 seconds. We've seen the one minute. We've seen people stacking on posts. You know, you can swipe mm -hmm. left to continue the video stream. Um, we've seen stories. I'm sure everybody follows somebody who has, you know, 10 stories in a row. So you've got this really long stream of content that you're getting. Um, but the difference between, you know, stacking up all those stories and then doing a channel or putting something on IGTV is that it's in one consistent place and it's like one episode per se. Yeah. And with IGTV, the kind of neat thing is that now rather than having those limits, mm -hmm. you can go anywhere from one minute to most people get access to 10 minutes yeah. of video. If you have over 10,000 followers, you can actually do up to an hour long. Yeah. Yeah, and very slowly they said they will start to roll out where you can actually do unlimited. Yeah. Um, who knows when that's going to actually roll out, but it's kind it's of exciting. It's going to change the format for sure of what people use Instagram for. Yeah, absolutely. Be exciting. And I think the really unique thing about this is that it is all vertical video, mm -hmm. which I think is really cool. Yeah. Um, I'm a big landscape fan. Um, I yeah, me like too. I'm always. I feel like that's your one cardinal rule. Like you're gonna video something, go landscape, get that horizontal shot, and now they're saying it's all vertical. Yeah, they're completely switching it up. Um, but I so I've been experimenting with IGTV for the last well week. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the first day it was kind of announced. I got it on uh, the one channel, especially Downtown Madison Life, and just have yep. been kind of testing it out a few different formats. Been following a bunch of people who've been trying it out. Yeah. Uh, I find it, it's definitely interesting. Um, I'm really liking the vertical format. Like mm -hmm. I'm surprised by how much I actually like that. It feels a little, little more personal, I guess. Yeah. There's some, just something different that allows you to really connect to your audience a little bit more. Yeah. I think. I think it's really easy for the audience to consume as well. You're sitting there scrolling through things. You're tapping on the channel. You're opening up on your phone. You know, just even walking down the sidewalk, AirPods in, listening. It's not something that you're turning to the side. As silly as that sounds, those little nuances that can make content more consumable for your audience it all it all helps yeah it definitely makes a difference uh and i think for me the it seems a little more approachable for people mm -hmm. to start making more professional videos uh or it, it seems like it's easier step for content creators to kind of jump in for some reason yeah. um whereas you know having a big when you're doing landscape, it feels like you need the big fancy cameras. Mm -hmm. It feels like you need all the equipment. Yeah. Whereas with the vertical, like you get the best recording just by holding your phone yeah. and kind of doing it that way. So yeah. I, I love that. And I think it has all kinds of different aspects in, in terms of helping people be more creative with the mm -hmm. content that they're, they're creating. Yeah. So when you are going to record something for IGTV, are you able to upload content you've already created? to that channel or does it have to be recorded live then? 
No, it's, yeah, it can be content you already created, and we can actually run through here in a little bit uh, a little slideshow that kind of shows people exactly how to go through and upload everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it can be content you pre-recorded that you edited. Um, I'm seeing more and more people do some very highly produced, yeah. uh, like, you know, with music underneath, with graphics, yeah. even some of them, with multiple cuts. Um, there's a few uh, Instagrammers out there who have really already like dove in full into yeah. this and it's gone really crazy Good for them that's yeah awesome. so it's really neat um so let's talk a little bit about how you can actually set up and run an igtv on how you can actually get access to your own channel so let's jump into a little slideshow here um so this right here is uh kind of the main screen on instagram and what you're going to do is you're going to see that right there is the little IGTV button. Uh, this is after you've already created a channel. Um, if you're on your the main page of Instagram, you, on the home page, you can actually see a little button up towards the top. It's going to be on the top right of the screen. It looks very similar to that button as well. Um, so if you just click on that, then you're going to be taken to kind of this next screen, which this is the main thing, the main screen that you're going to see for IGTV. This is it. So IGTV also has a standalone app. This is where you're taken right away when you go there for the main app. And really, they're basically the exact same thing uh, between the, the app and the in Instagram kind of experience, except for in the actual standalone app, you're taken right here. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is click on the little icon that is right there. Um, for me, I already have a channel going, but that's going to be how you create your channel. You're going to click that and get asked to create a channel. Anybody who has an Instagram account can create a channel. Um, and it really is tied to your Instagram account. So you're not going through and creating like multiple channels. You're just creating one channel per Instagram account. And if somebody follows you, then this is a piece that I really like. If somebody follows you, then they are automatically connected and following uh, both your IGTV channel and your Instagram chat, uh, Instagram at the same time, which is neat. Uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, the next thing that's gonna happen is you'll be taken to your actual page. This is an example of my channel. We have a couple of videos uploaded already, um, but this is where you're gonna be taken. You can add your descriptions to your channels and all that stuff. When you're at, ready to add a video, just click the little plus button, uh, and then you get taken to the spot where you can go through and select a video. So this can be any video that's on your phone. Again, if you are under 10,000 followers, this is gonna be any video that is between one minute and 10 minutes uh, that you're gonna be able to upload onto IGTV. And then you just click the little video that you want up there. And then it's going to go through and take you to this screen where you can kind of play through your video, make sure it look, it's looking perfect exactly the way you want to. Then just click the next button and you're taken to uh, kind of where you can add the title, description, and you can even edit uh, the cover art for the episode, which is kind of neat. Uh, you just have to click that little button and then you get taken where you can either upload a completely new document or completely new image or you can scroll through your video and find the perfect frame uh, that you wanna use for your cover art. Um, now, this is one piece that I really like, is that with Insta IGTV, you can actually create uh, links in the description. So these are clickable yeah. links, things that you can actually click on, get take, take people to pages, which is something mm -hmm. really we haven't had on Instagram. Right. We've had to do the hack where it basically Click the link in the You're bio, right. constantly change that <laughs> out. Everybody uses so that. That's the link in my bio. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it works, but it's just super frustrating, especially for those of us who have channels under 10,000. Right. People with channels over 10,000 are able to do the swipe so up that. in their stories. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you have another way to actually direct people to a call to action, yeah. which I think is really awesome. That is great. Yeah, so and you can see those clickable links right there. You can actually have multiple. I have two in this one, this example right there. Um, and then uh, I want to talk a little bit more about what the experience is like off of mobile because you can actually do this on the desktop. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that, when you're in your desktop experience, it allows you for a few options in terms of driving people to your uh, new episode for IGTV. Uh, so this is kind of your main Instagram page that you find uh, your profile on uh, desktop. This is what it looks like. And then you'll notice right there in the middle is the spot for IGTV. So if you click that link, then you're taken to your IGTV channel mm -hmm. uh, with all the videos that you already have uploaded and everything. Um, 
And then you'll see right there, you can actually click to upload directly from the desktop, which is kind of nice. That's an awesome feature. Yeah, it really is. It's it's not one I've used yet, mm -hmm. but like I think that can be super helpful. It's going to yeah. be great for people uh, to really be able to just upload directly, especially yeah. highly edited ones that you might right. not want to try and just waste the time of transferring to your phone. Mm -hmm. And that way you can just upload it directly from the mm -hmm. desktop, get all the same functions that you have in IG in the mobile version as well. Yeah. So you can upload from there. Uh, but this is the piece. So this is an example of what a single episode looks like. Like if you click on that episode, you can then click to play it. Uh, but this is the really cool piece right here. And that is you can grab the URL directly to the IGTV episode. So what that's going to allow you to do is to actually go through and like say, put that episode in an email yeah. or go and just create a link in any other fashion, uh, maybe a messenger bot, maybe something yeah. like that. Like you can directly drive traffic to that episode, mm -hmm. which I think is really cool. For Instagram, this is coming a long way from the days of not being able to direct anybody anywhere or even click through to the next step. I mean, this is great. And it's yeah. gonna really help people just like you guys, you know, help promote your business, help get those call to actions out, um, start driving people to receiving newsletters or, you know, purchasing items or subscribing. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a game changer. Yeah, absolutely. It's super awesome that they're doing this and it just allows for you to really get your message out there, get the mm -hmm. content you're creating out to more people. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of that, there are a couple other really cool ways you can start sharing uh, IGTV episodes, uh, and that is through your stories. You can actually okay. start sharing it. So um, however you want to do, you just do a little announcement, but then what you're going to notice is you can actually link directly to that IGTV episode uh, to a very specific one, and then just have the little swipe up and this yeah. is for anybody. You don't need to have 10,000 followers. So now we can like, all use the phrase swipe up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, so I, I love the fact that you can have that direct link from your stories because stories generally tend to be very engaging for yeah. people. Um, I get a lot of direct messages from stories, but yeah. now the fact that I can actually send them directly to a new episode is going to be big. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe, that means they'll start letting you send them other places, <laughs> but at least they're letting you do that, which yeah. is really awesome. Good. That is great. Yeah. So I guess any any thoughts on just the actual process of creating a channel, uploading a video? I think they've taken a lot of really nice steps yeah. to make this easier for people. It does seem easy. I think one thing that I really like about this new transition is that everybody who's already worked so hard to build their audience and gain all those followers, you're not going to lose those when transitioning to the channel. Um, you get to keep all of that, like you said. Um, what other kind of tidbits do you think? So we've seen in the past, you know, um, other websites such as like Canva and online design websites come out with um, templates and kind of formats for people to use and Instagram in stories, things like that. Are there templates out there right now to be used for channels as well? Um, honestly, not that I've seen in terms of like Canva yeah. or anything like that. I imagine there'll be some coming. Yeah. Um, and I guess part of the hard part is I'm sure there'll be some coming for the cover, yeah. the cover art for sure. Um, but part of the hard part is I don't think that's the best experience. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people, I've even tested it on my channel yeah. to actually go out and create, uh, take essentially repurpose a uh, horizontal video. Yeah. Um, first of all, just because I've already seen this out there a lot, <laughs> don't just turn your video sideways. Like, come on, like, yeah, just don't do that. It looks horrible. Uh, it's a bad experience. People are actually having to turn their phones when everything yeah. else is all vertical. So don't just do that. But I do think there are some options in okay. terms of repurposing content. Yeah. So one, it could be just uploading it and just realizing you're only getting kind of that center image, yeah. which depending on how things are filmed, like that could be okay. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely watch the entire video and make sure it is okay. Don't just automatically upload and assume it's going to be all right. Um, another option is to kind of shrink it down and then have essentially a background, a okay. kind of templated yeah. thing. Um, I know I tested that with uh, Downtown Madison Life where you had yeah. like the Downtown Madison Life branding up top mm -hmm. and then a call to action kind of on the bottom. Yeah. And then the video is playing kind of in that main screen there mm -hmm. that people see right away when they get to IGTV. Okay. Um, so gotcha. I imagine more of that kind of stuff will be coming out for yeah. people. I'm I excited know. to see what kind of upgrades they bring with that too. Yeah, and again, early, early days, just yeah. kind of starting to test things out. But I, the ones for my videos, the ones that were kind of mm -hmm. repurposed in that way, where it's you know 
a background image and a, and the video kind of shrunken down and over that aren't performing quite as well. But again, it's so early that it's hard to tell. Most people haven't even updated yet to the new apps. So. Yeah, yeah. So Instagram is really making their app very dimensional between doing a standard post, the stories, the highlights, now this IGTV. Um, can you kind of walk us through how you would recommend somebody, you know, for a general post and kind of what they're starting on a, on an everyday kind of platform? So you're going to wake up, you're going to post on the regular Instagram mm-hmm. um, feed, and then you'll do, you'd recommend doing stories, you'd recommend mm-hmm. saving the highlights, and mm-hmm. then also with the channel, kind of walk us through that. Uh, yeah, I, I think the more you can participate in the channel, the faster your your Instagram account's going to grow. Mm-hmm. The, the, that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. Um, but I think the more you can really be strategic in the way you're creating content, that's going to be less work on you mm-hmm. and it's going to get better results. So trying to see if you can have some sort of synergy between all of the things that you're doing. Um, so the thing that's going to be probably the most curated now is actually, well, depends on your strategy. Again, still early, so it's hard to tell what's going to really see a big growth mm-hmm. in IGTV. But so far, I've seen the more highly produced videos doing well. Okay. Um, if they're shot and recorded in the vertical format with that being kind of the main thing. So the way you could kind of approach this is think, I'm going to have a new episode every single day. Yeah. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to edit and it might be four minutes long, okay. uh, something like that. So you're creating a four minute video with multiple different shots, different backgrounds, things like that. Mm-hmm. But then while you're getting those main shots, maybe you have a blooper that happens or maybe yeah. you have some sort of behind the scene thing that you can grab yeah. for a story. And then after you post your IGTV episode, you can post the story with the link back to that IGTV okay. episode. Um, I then I would also go through and within your shooting, a filming of the IGTV episode, you can probably get a nicely curated image for Instagram and then go mm-hmm. through and create that and post that. Maybe you yeah. even post that the next day so that you're driving more traffic back yeah. the day after or something like that. But okay. sitting through and thinking, okay, what does my content creation schedule look like yeah. is going to be a big deal. Um, I know today for Downtown Madison Life, for example, um, I haven't done it yet, but the plan is to go. <laughs> we have concerts on the square tonight. Yeah. So the plan is to do an IGTV episode of concerts on the square, awesome. uh, just kind of out and about there. I plan to go live actually to Instagram, kind of in the pre-session, like yeah. so when I go and like put the blanket down yeah. and all that stuff, and talk to people and give people it'll be on there for ten minutes or so, be mm-hmm. actual live, um, and then be recording a bunch of content for the IGTV episode do some Mm -hmm. quick story shots, even if it's just capturing it and not posting it right away to stories. Mm -hmm. Um, And then while there, um, I'm gonna take a nice image of the blanket and the drinks and all the fun stuff and post that as an image later. Just kind of give you a little example of what the flow can look like. Yeah, that's great. And so if people wanna kind of check out what that looks like, where do they find you for that? Uh, That is on the Downtown Madison Life Instagram. So just instagram.com slash downtown Madison Life. Uh, you'll find that there. Okay. And so speaking of finding accounts, um, so with IGTV, how do we go ahead and search for new channels or do we just, since the people we're following already, we're already going to see their channels. But if we're trying to find new channels to follow, how do we do that? Is it still on the Discover page or how do we? Um, So it'll actually be on, you'll click on the either IGTV like icon up on the top Mm-hmm. So on the home page, it's on the very like top right, yeah. right next to the direct messages. When there's a new one, it actually goes like orangish, weird yeah. kind of color. I've seen that. It kind of gives you a banner at the top that says, you know, whatever account just added a story or added. Yeah, but it's kind episode. of multicolor orangish. Yeah. You'll definitely notice it. <laughs> um, but really, Instagram is trying to do a great job of curating the content they think you're going to like best. Okay. Um, so they're trying to think about, okay, these are the people you're following. Mm-hmm. We're going to show them content from them. We're also going to figure out what are some of the most popular ones and what they have a category for that. But then they're also going to try and think about, okay, based off of things they've already viewed, this is other content that they're going to like. Mm-hmm. So they're going to try and curate it for you. They do have an actual search bar. It's a very tiny search bar. I, From what I've heard, it seems like they want to actually, they don't want you to really use that search bar. Okay. Um, what Right now, the only thing the search bar can do is search specifically for a channel. So you have to kind of know the channel you name. You know what you're looking for. Yeah, you have to okay. know like the person that you're looking for or something like that in order to dive in there. Okay. Yeah. 
So they're really trying to make this a great experience for you um, and kind of deliver you content directly. Okay, sounds good. So why don't you talk to us a little bit about, you know, should we be starting Instagram TV channels? Is that something we should be doing? What qualifies us to do that? Yeah, well, I think if you are on Instagram, um, I think now is definitely the time to jump in. Like if you have the bandwidth at all, I think this is the time to jump in, to test the so waters. So these early stages, yeah. it's a good good time to join. Yeah, and I mean, it's definitely going to, you're going to be ha- have to be comfortable with being a little mm-hmm. experimental, yep. testing out a few formats. So maybe it is repurposing mm-hmm. things with the little yeah. the background image and cutting it down. Maybe it's yeah. just doing some talking head ones for a while, yeah. but it's kind of testing the waters. And I think the value here is that because IGTV is so early, if you jump mm-hmm. in right away, start seeing some traction, you're as more and more people jump in, you're gonna be the one that they get pushed to. Your yeah. Instagram is gonna naturally throw your content out to them and then you're gonna that's grow That's a really that good way. point. That's a really good point. Cause I'm usually the kind of person that's like, maybe I'll wait and see how everybody else likes it, take some tips and tricks from everybody else and then I'll give it a whirl. But if you're saying that if I just take this leap and just go for it, like my content's gonna be pushed out maybe more so than somebody who in a few weeks gives it a try, so. Yeah, and I definitely think that's true. Um, and obviously you need to think about what is your bandwidth and how yeah. does that work? And so maybe you're not posting every single day. Maybe right. you're just committing to at least going and posting a new video once a week. Yeah. And first step, it, update the app. At yeah. Right. Take, that's take the first step, step one. <laughs> step one right there for sure. Um, but then maybe it is setting yourself a schedule. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do one video every Friday or whatever it might be. And then that week you can be recording little snippets or you can just do one single long mm-hmm. talking head type video. That's at least going to get you moving. I think that's going to at least get things started. Um, and then if you're ready and willing, I would say try to go every day. See yeah. what happens here, especially, your, like I said, okay. early days. I know I'm trying to commit to uh, 30 days here of going ha- uploading a new video awesome. every single one, every single day, and kind of see what happens, yeah. uh, honestly. Um, I have seen, in terms of analytics, it does show you nice analytics. You can see where okay. people kind of drop off and how, the percentage of the video they watch. Nice. Um, yeah, that's super helpful. Yeah. Uh, and the, the results I'm seeing so far is that the straight, the, the vertical videos that mm-hmm. you're recording, like say directly from your phone, editing a little bit, those are the ones that are getting results. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the ones that are, people are watching all the way through. And I would say, keep it a little, little more on the shorter side. Okay. So under five minutes. Okay. Um, Good to know. yeah, I kind of start to see the big drop off happen around minute three, at least so far. Okay. Um, who knows if that's going to stay true or not, yeah. but that's kind of seems to be kind of where that drop off point is, at least for the channel I'm testing right now. Okay. Um, and I guess in terms of content creation, just to talk a little bit about that, what yeah. that kind of looks like is that um, it's important to, there, there are a few little hacks you can do. Okay. Um, so we're talking about actually recording everything, you know, vertical video. Mm-hmm. I recommend using your phone. Um, I recommend, trying to get a tripod potentially like i think that'll help do the recording make the recording a little bit easier um but then in terms of actually editing things um because you need it in that vertical format uh one little hack you can do say if you have imovie Mm -hmm. is to do all your you know upload all of the images all the photos all of the video yeah in uh vertically and then kind of do your editing but then what you're going to need to do is actually flip everything you're going to oh. need to rotate it because um, otherwise it's going to export it with a small single video and then a big wide format. Oh, and then that's okay. just not going to look super polished. It's, you know, you're going to get a oh, kind of yeah. weird video format or weird video mm-hmm. size. If people have questions about how they can do this editing, can they reach out to you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh. Uh, send me a message, aliveactionproduction.com. We can yeah. connect. We can make this work. We can help you out for sure. Yeah. Take the link um, together. Yeah, and just and once you have your everything rotated, you export the iMovie and then mm-hmm. QuickTime, you can just quickly rotate the video in QuickTime and then you have a perfectly vertical format. Yeah. And again, all of those programs are free. Other editing software, you can adjust the aspect ratios, uh, super simple, super easy, mm-hmm. um, and just edit normally that way. Okay, yeah. awesome. That's great. Yeah. Any other content tips? I'm trying to think. I would... I would just really the big one is to just get started and start yeah. testing things out. You know, grab a few people, have them record you mm-hmm. doing something out in your environment, doing something yeah. related to your channel, related to your content. 
uh, and just start editing. Start with the talking head ones if you're uncomfortable editing, and then slowly start adding cuts yeah. and adding edited pieces and different content there. Feel free to also add music to it and make it yeah. a little more dynamic. I feel like that's going to um, really play out here more in the future. Mm -hmm. And then don't be afraid to push people to the platform. Yeah, that's definitely. what you're going to need to do as someone who is kind of just starting out here. You're going to need to actually push your audience wherever they may be. If they're on the email list, if on Facebook, if they're on Instagram, awesome. But you're still going to need to make them aware that you have this IGTV channel. I know right now for me, I'm uploading the vertical videos everywhere. Yeah. So there, it automatically can be posted to Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'm also pushing it out to my personal profile, um, awesome. uploading it to LinkedIn. I've been testing out there. <laughs> I'm surprised it's getting a decent amount of traction there, Good. more than I was expecting. Good. Um, and then even just started testing it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, I think there's going to be something to this vertical format, at least for a little while. And you're creating the content. So if you're going to repurpose it, I right. suggest repurposing in that way mm -hmm. um, and just seeing what happens for yeah. now. Yeah. And we definitely want to hear if you guys are going to give this a whirl. So if that means you're updating your app today, you're going to try a 30 days of, you know, uploading. You're just going to try to do, you know, the face videos, um, whatever you're going to try. Let us know. Put it in the comments below. We'd love to hear. And if you need help, as Nick said, liveactionproduction.com, um, you can reach us there or just in the comments here as well. Yeah. And thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this it has been live and local. We are live every single Wednesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so, and next week, we are going to potentially be off. And next week's the 4th of July 4th of here July. in the U.S. <laughs> um, so I do plan to go live, but it's probably going to be at a weird time. And it's just going to be um, a little update on some news events that have happened. There's a few live streaming services out there, things that I, mm -hmm. we use, um, places that I recommend people check out that have been releasing some new features. So I just want to cover some general news. So it'll be a short one, more informal, uh, likely be earlier in the day because I have a barbecue to go to. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you'll definitely be able to check all of that out. I'll be live uh, next Wednesday and we'll be back to our regular scheduled time the following week where we're going to be talking all about uh, going live at expos yeah. and how you can drive more traffic, drive more people to yeah. your expo uh, by being live and just some cool little things you can do in that expo or trade uh, trade show environment. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about the episode. Expos are my favorite, so yeah, it, it'll be good. It'll be super fun. I think there's lots of creative things you can do there. Definitely. And it, to really engage the vendors and to engage other people mm -hmm. around you. So I'm yeah. excited for that episode. So be sure to click the like, subscribe, and get all the notifications yeah. uh, and sign up for everything so you don't miss that episode. And until next time, go out there and start live streaming and be sure to at least update the Instagram app. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks.